this is going to be just a real basic beginner primer on two finger index lead picking and it's going to assume that you're a little bit familiar with finger picking or play some claw hammer um, so first off you're going to be leading or playing the, the melody notes with the finger and the in between filler notes with the thumb primarily so you want to get your finger to play each of the four long strings comfortably. So you just want to develop your aim enough to do that. You want to get your thumb to play the second, third, fourth, and fifth strings comfortably. like that. Then you're going to combine them so that you have an index thumb, index thumb, index thumb repeating and the rhythm will be one and two and one and two and and the ones will and the twos will all be your finger, the ands will be your thumb. So at first let's just use our finger on the first string, thumb on the fifth, just one and two Then we can. Then let's just start moving our finger up and down. get used to, to using our thumb after every index stroke and at this point we're just keeping our thumb on the fifth string but alternating our finger over the four long strings. So that would be what most people call double thumbing. Now let's look at drop thumbing and this is a lot of stuff to put in one short lesson but there's a reason and you can take as long as you want to practice it. So what we call drop thumbing would be the same sequence, finger, thumb, finger, thumb, finger, thumb. It shows in tab as IT, IT, IT at the bottom of the line of tab. But this time, we're going to alternate our thumb, or use our thumb on, on the fifth string and the fourth, third, and second strings. So we might go, which are strings one, two, up a little bit. We want to be able to do that, drop our thumb to any of the strings. So we would go. Or. So that we're using our finger and our thumb <clears throat> on all of the strings just one after the other, index, thumb, index, thumb, index, thumb. So if you get the camera up close, we'll do that drop thumb one more time. One, the most common drop thumb is probably this one. Pick the first string with your finger, second with your thumb, first with your finger again, and then the fifth. <clears throat> but you can do that any place. same sequence you're just changing strings that's all okay now <clears throat> a couple of more quick things it gets pretty boring if you just play index thumb index thumb index thumb index thumb non-stop so you want to take parts of that little roll out at times and the, what everybody calls the bum diddy rhythm That is just finger, thumb, finger, thumb, only with that first thumb stroke left out. So it's one and two and, but this time we're going to leave the first and out. So it's going to be one silent and two. Put it 
back in, take it out, so that's how you do the bump dating, which is a lot of people call the basis of, of uh, claw hammer or index lead two finger. Now there's one more thing that I want to show, and uh, you'll understand why in a minute. And that's just a, a backwards roll. It's exactly what we've just learned. It's going to be finger, thumb, finger, thumb. But this time, we're going to pick the first string with our finger, second string with the thumb, but we're going to bring the finger down to the third string for the next note, and then the fifth string. So it's going to be one and two. string numbers are going to be one, two, three, five, which you can use to make cool little things like. Now, the reason that we looked at that many different things is on another page, there is a three-part uh, or three version tab for Sourwood Mountain. The first version is really easy, the second version is still pretty easy, the third version is a little bit harder. What we just covered is everything your right hand needs to know for the first and second versions. There's a little bit of stuff in the third version that makes it a little trickier and we can cover that at a different time. But that's the reason for all those things. So just work on your right hand. You can make it more interesting if you're doing a bum ditty, bum ditty, bum ditty, and you're bored to death and watching television isn't helping. You can go. Just add some chords. Do something with your left hand, whatever you feel like. And that's it. First two versions of Sourwood Mountain, and that's plenty. And that might take you a day, and it might take six months. It just depends on how much you practice. Have fun with it. We'll be back with more.